she's not here. What? She's not here. And why would she be? I don't even remember this place. Looking at that away, all the monsters. Hey. It's okay. There's plenty of other places to look. We can still. Oh, is that the knife girl? Come on. Thumbnail. Look for loot real quick. I think it came from inside the theater. So I'll have to go in through that window. Yeah, because that door is locked. Okay. Up and over. You okay? Yeah. Maybe you better wait here. Okay. Not much of a movie fan anyway. Why not? And James? Yeah. Be careful in there. Yeah. Like, there's so many good movies out there. Eddie, I thought you were leaving. So them two are out there somewhere. So that little girl and Ed, what is going on with all these people? I think that's him up there. Yeah, that's a monster. Or a mannequin. Who knows these days? Alright, locked. Non-existence. I was here. Artificial sky. Foreshadowing. All right, question is, do I go visit them first or I go get Maria? Um... I expected a monster. Yeah, let's go. Nothing, nothing. Bullets. Now let's go check out the other bathroom. Right, we're ready to swing at a moment's notice. Occupied. Broken. Not occupied. Monster? Occupied. Okay. All right, so let's check that front door. See if we can let her in. No. Okay, so we have to go into that theater. 
Dang, they even broke the popcorn machine. Let's go check that out of the door out real quick. Because we were going this way. Where there's nothing. Cool. Back to the theater. Again, Eddie. Eddie? Oh. Uh, you're, uh. James. We met back at the apartment building. Yeah. I remember. Can't let the ice cream go to waste, I guess. I see that you didn't make it out yet. Mm, yeah. I just didn't get around to it yet. Well, at least you got your appetite back. Are you alone here, Eddie? This little girl, Hello. I swear. Well. That's probably just Laura messing around. The little girl? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. I'm gonna go look for her. Eddie, you're kind of creeping me out, man. You coming? Now you want me to come with you? Brother, you were thrown up last time. How could you have come with me? Who you have anything else to say? Girl, anyway? I don't know. All I know is her name. I swear. Uh, didn't you want to go after her? I did, but you also have me curious too. Laura can be pretty quick when she wants to. <laughs> Suit yourself. Now he won't talk to me anymore. <clears throat> Whoa, another theater? I thought it was one of those things where, like, you keep going into the same room over and over again. Laura? Anything down here that I can take? Okay. Hmm. All right, now we're back to being creepy. <gasps> oh, that, oh, that felt purposeful. <laughs> that, that was scary. It, it spooked me a little bit. I kind of wish they did internal maps. That's new though. I like how he put like where he entered at. Question is, when do I let Maria in? And what's weird is that none of the other characters really met each other, except for I guess Eddie and Laura now. But other than that, what in the one eye, one horn, flying purple people ears going on here?
She's not in here. Now, a question you ask ourselves is, was she ever in here? I was about to say, like, where the hell am I supposed to go? Hey! There you are! As soon as anything we're grabbing. <sighs> what is all this like mess? Then we're going back downstairs. I think we're about to let her in. Whoa. That's creepy. Wait, are we back to where we started? We are. Okay. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. That is horrifying. Laura, stop! It's dangerous! Get back here, little girl! Maria? Did you see the little girl? Yeah, I tried to stop her, but... She went that way. We can still catch her. Okay, so now we're actually chasing her down. She went towards the hospital, I guess? Come on, Vamanos. Everybody, let's go. So I guess that little girl went to the hospital. Like, I'm not 100% sure, but. I just want to see what's down here real quick. And in all my wanderings, I found nothing but dead ends. So. Well, actually, I didn't check down there yet. I can't help it. I'm an adventurer. I like to explore. More dead ends down here. All right, then we'll just continue on to the hospital. James, look. At what? Oh my God, that was abrupt. Reach the Brookhaven Hospital. Why do we have to chase after the little girl? Like, she's been nothing but an ass. Like, to everybody. 
All right. Brookhaven Hospital, here we go. Because nothing is more unsettling than a derelict hospital. What is this? I've lost shotgun? Where? That would be nice. Is that a gun cabinet? In a hospital? Yeah, but it's empty. Somehow that seems worse. I swear if the little girl has it, I'm gonna be a little uh, upsetty spaghetti. All right, shotgun safety rules. Safe direction. Keep your weapon pointed in a safe direction so that accidental discharge will not cause injury. Two, finger off the trigger. Do not put your finger on the trigger unless you are ready to shoot at your intended target. And three, keep your gun loaded. Keep your weapon unloaded while in storage. Only load your weapon when you are ready to use it. That's just basic gun safety rules. But with them introducing a shotgun... I wonder how many of those enemies are going to be here, and which way do I go? Pull pharmacy doctor's lounge. M Maria? <sighs> Where did she go? I don't know. Let's look around. Oh, nice. We got a map. We're going to go to... Oh, there's also multiple floors, too. There's three whole floors. Okay. So, we're going to explore the entire first floor. And then we'll keep moving our way up. Depending on how the game lets us. Because I know back at the apartments, we had to go from the second floor to the third floor. And then back down to the second, then the first, then the second. So, we'll see what it allows us to do. But we're going to go ahead and move clockwise. Starting with the restroom and the medical records reception reception office and then just proceed through there so let's get to it i am ready to fight though and with it being a hospital i wonder how much health potions are gonna give me and no matter what you consider them they are kind of like potions you drink it, magical stuff happens. Like, energy drinks are just potions of vitality. Dr. Hughes and Dr. Atkinson in the garden. Why are their eyes scratched out? More <laughs> I'm gonna be shooting somebody. Hmm. Alright. Due to repeated instances of keys getting misplaced from this point forward, they are to be returned to the locker at the end of every shift. All staff are required to memorize the padlock combination and are not to disclose it to anyone but authorized personnel in any circumstances. In case of any problem, report to the head nurse in examination room three. What you doing? Find anything interesting? The director requested the files of the three crucial patients. You know which ones. Could you please bring them to his office? Okay, that's interesting. So now we got... We gotta pay attention to the three crucial patients. Damn. All right. Um. Okay, so we went in the restroom. Oh, a saving point. It looks like there's a key in there. Hmm. No combination though. Would you look around? Might be written down somewhere. I wonder what happened if you just randomly typed it in. Like, would you start to go through all the 
jump through all the hoops to get the combination. Well, most likely so. All right, let's save real quick. We haven't saved since the strip club. All right, let's go check out that little room there. All right, that's blocked off. Okay, good, he marked it. So we need the three files of the three crucial patients, which we can't get into medical records for some reason, unless we get in through like a broken wall somewhere. I really do like the fact that they actually annotate the map. It helps me know like where it's blocked off and what doors you can go through and like, especially like your objectives and stuff. That's nice. Okay, that's blocked off too. Let's check out the locker room. And then exam room one. And through the locker room, we can get into the doctor's lounge too. Inner ward. Do I need a key to get in there? Mm. That might be that key that we found in the box. Okay, can't get in there. All right, we'll go around. Brookhaven Hospital, established in 1920. Exam room one is closed. Remember, if you experience poor appetite or significant weight loss, insomnia or hypersomnia, loss of interest or pleasure or sexual activities, feeling of worthlessness, diminished abilities to re think or concentrate, contact your healthcare provider immediately. Okay, the stairs are to our right. Can we go in them? Ooh. <gasps> <sighs> Loud sound. There. Laura, wait. It's okay. We don't want to hurt you. <laughs> we? <laughs> you speak French? God damn it. <sighs> Why would you run from me? I think she likes me very much. But why? I, uh, I don't know. So who's the wolf and who's the rabbit here? Is Pyramid Head the wolf and I'm the rabbit? Or am I the wolf and she's the rabbit? Why can't I open my map? I wasn't looking when he pushed on that door. <laughs> More shotgun shells. Oh, that's handgun ammo. Let's head back up. Can we go here? We can. Okay. I'm gonna save real quick before we go in here. Okay, all saved. Um, that way I don't have to go through all that stuff again. Doors locked. I guess we need power to work the elevator. Yeah, this place is hella creepy. <laughs> Keep door closed. I mean, when you break off the doorknob, you can't help but have it stay closed. I don't like that door. Not one bit. And also, why would a hospital need a shotgun? All right, so we can't go through any of that. We're kind of here. However, we can break. Oh, E is elevator. Good to know. Um, so let's break that window. Then we can hop into the examination rooms. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not sure. Better stay on your guard. What was what? I think I'm not gonna make it too much noise. We'll reload and then see what the sound was. Alright, let's try this again. Ah. 
startled me. What was that? Not sure. Better stay on your guard. Okay, I was making too much noise to hear that. Remember, there's also a little girl running around in this damn hospital. Ooh, look at all this medicine. Yes! Stalking way. <laughs> all this health makes me wonder if there's going to be a bunch of a big fight or a bunch of little fights. What is this? I wrote it down for you in a way you should finally be able to remember. Once you're in the lobby, just look around. Now remember, nurses, doctors, trees. Okay, got it. Nurses, doctors, trees. So shotgun ammo's red, handgun ammo's yellow. Or she's gonna come in here now. Yeah. You little shadow. He even wrote it on the that's cool. This dude takes some really good notes. Nurses, doctors, trees. Alright. Let's go save and then check it out. for something in these photos what am i looking for in the photos unless okay so unless it's kind of like the moth puzzle where the amount of symbols on their wings or their bodies maybe it's the amount of people in the photo so nurses is seven doctors is two trees is four seven two four let's go try that combination out seven two <laughs> Second floor? Basement. Oh, mm. Of course. Yeah, you <laughs> Girl, you expect them to take us directly where we need to go? You funny. You real funny. You got a sense of humor. I'll tell you what. So literally the only place we can go next is the basement. This place feels so empty. More this... than the other places we've been. Well, because it's like this place, it's... What is the term? I think it's liminal. It's like a place that's supposed to be busy, but it's not, and it's just empty. I think that's what makes this place more unsettling than the rest of the places. Because the apartments are meh. Like, you don't expect much activity there because people are in their apartments. The town, a little more so, but the hospital definitely, because hospitals are never just empty. There's always something going on. Like, even if you go into an ER at 2 o'clock in the morning, there's people are there. So it's like, this place being abandoned. Why are there cells down here? Oh, so that's why I couldn't open my map earlier, because I didn't have a map. But now, give me that. Uh, boiler room, boiler room. Storage, laundry room, laundry storage, maintenance, kitchen disposal, chip. What the hell are you doing? Nope. Doesn't work. Stop touching stuff. Okay. We already confirmed that the elevator doesn't work. Hopefully that opens from the other side, because this feels like a I'm starting to feel like a rat in a maze down here. Should I try the button? 
Yeah, I feel like... I feel like something's gonna chase us through here. Oh, this place is making my heart rate increase. Like, this place has too many twists and turns for something not to chase me down here. Generator. I think we could get it running. Might get that elevator running again. Smay. Fish. Okay, so it needs gas. To make power. Okay, I was wondering if I could break that to get back there or something, but I guess not. Emergency fuel reserve and storage room. Storage is at the end of the hallway. Yeah, I know. There has to be. There has to be something down here. <laughs> I saw you. Like, this place is way too creepy for something not to be here. Ooh, more health. You know, it's funny.